y'all I am always here back here for another audition I'm wondering should I be moving to this city <laughs> busy 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 we're gonna head outside okay destination but there's an aerobics class going on so I'm not sure if the music is going to be cut out so after I leave here I'm going to be on the street and then we're going to chit chat. Okay I am finished for the day so I'm headed back to Connecticut but one of the things that I wanted to talk about is that you're always you're always as a person going to be faced with challenges you're always going to be faced with obstacles and the main thing is about challenges and obstacles Look at it as you have a lesson to learn from it so you can grow, move beyond it, pass the lesson on, and move forward. Obstacles are meant to challenge you. They're meant to make you grow. They're meant to better you. That's what you do with the obstacle. Learn and grow, no matter what the obstacle is, because it's there to teach you. It's there to bring you to the next chapter of your life. Don't look at it as being there to make you fail. Sometimes those obstacles are there to make us be greater. Okay, headed back to Connecticut. down a little bit tonight but there's always something going on here no matter you know what part of New York you know if you've never been to New York come to New York but I just want to talk about that you know the obstacle challenge again about if you're faced with an obstacle how to keep just moving forward and get the lesson that you're supposed to get from it because I think some of us put a we put like it's a life or death situation if we don't make our goals or it's a life or death situation if we fail or if we don't get it right the first time but look at your failures as also successes because when you necessarily don't succeed at something you're going to figure out why you didn't succeed and then you're going to make the corrections and then next time you're going to go in stronger and the next time stronger okay just to let you guys know next week's going to be kind of crazy because you're going to get a monday video 
but you're not gonna get a Friday video because I'm gonna be out of town. I'm gonna be performing in North Carolina, so I'm gonna be with you for Inspirational Monday, but I won't be with you for Wednesday and Friday. But when I get back after, I'm gonna just show you, you know, what I was doing in North Carolina, and you'll get to see that. So just to let you know, just in case if everybody's wondering, you know, what happened to um, Wednesday and Friday for next week, but I will be here Monday, okay? I'm in the park right now seeing what's going on. Not too far from Grand Central because I got to catch my train home. But I just want to see what was going on in the park. And I think they got like a concert or something going on. So we're going to just take a quick peek. If you just see how many people are just here. Wow. Hold on, let's get a look. Shakespeare, I would say, are you mad? Because all the friends I had had this little intellectual arrogant clique in which they lived in this bubble. And if you were not considered intellectual arrogant, you were not part of the Shakespeare thing. And then when I read Craig's script and I found what Shakespeare was, I suddenly realized that if Shakespeare existed today, he would have been a rapper in Harlem. Because he was a man of the streets. He spoke to the, to the people of the streets. His language was the slang of that time, 
and then excuse my language, I went to Craig and I said, hey, when the <laughs> did Shakespeare ever be usurped by the intellectuals? So here I was, I said, do you mind if I take him off the mantelpiece? Do you mind if I take him away from the intellectuals and bring him back to what he was? A poet of the people, for the people, by the people. So I hope you really enjoy the show and thanks for coming in. It's been such a pleasure to work here. Thank you. Bye. TNT and check out Will, story of um, William Shakespeare brought back to the people. Might be something interesting for you Shakespeare lovers out there, or for anybody loving the arts, you know, get outside your comfort zone and try something new. So if nobody has ever heard of William Shakespeare, check this out and see what they've done with William Shakespeare. Back at Grand Central, just gonna stop downstairs for a minute, then I'm gonna head home. But just remember that you have the power to persevere through anything. So those challenges and those obstacles, you're going to win them. You may not win them tomorrow. You may not win them today. You may not win them next month. But at some point, if you get what you're supposed to get from it, you're going to win. You were created to be a winner. You were not created to fail. Keep that mindset and that mindset and succeed. You got this. I will see you on Inspirational Monday. And as always, let's do this.